I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>
we have to wait for his majesty to you see you don't you cannot see the circle of death but i see it okay let's see i cannot move this thing hmm. actually i can move the front but i cannot move this uh, thing i don't know what happened the program i'm using for broadcast is frozen hmm. let us see if we can do something else uh, come on don't do that <clears throat> So do Allah really talk? If you go to the first verse of the Quran, second verse of the Quran, third verse of the Quran, you will see this God, he says, uh, uh, you know, uh, Allah, <coughs> and Allah, he said. So who is talking? Who is specifically, who is exactly is talking? Is it Allah or it is someone else? Let us hope this thing will work because until now it's not working. Like, come on. <coughs> See, my screen is frozen. I cannot move anything. So, like, I can click at the page, but there's a program, you know, I cannot, I, I have, I have like a, a square to zoom in the, in the place, certain places. This thing is not moving. The circle of death is moving. Ah, uh, come on. Okay. Hmm. What happened? So Muslims, anybody can remind me of Allah is talking until this thing solved. Let us hope it's going to solve this year. <laughs> the circles keep going. <laughs> like, come on, circle. You know, I'm afraid if I force the program to stop, like you can enforce it, right? Then that will stop our broadcast. We don't want to do that. Uh, let me give it a little try. Hold on. Let us see. Um. Okay. Let us hope now things is working better. Um. Is it working, guys? Uh, do you see the screen coming? I hope so. And now uh, let us try. Uh, this <clears throat> I have to crush the program you know to make it uh, here we go it's working now all right thank god all right so uh, uh, when we ask the Muslims do Allah talk they will say to you sure Allah talk isn't it the Quran that Allah is talking well the Quran claim by one person his name is Muhammad that there is a person, his name is Jibreel. He brought him Quran. Where Allah is talking in the Quran. Any Muslim can show me where Allah is talking in the Quran. Isn't it all you Muslim says that Quran is what Jibreel delivered to Muhammad? If there is a single word Allah he said to Muhammad in the Quran directly, he will say, No, that there's a guy, his name is Jibreel. And he is the one who brought the Quran to Muhammad. Okay. Now, who is the Jibreel? Is he God? He would say, no, he's an angel. All right. Where in the Quran it says that Jibreel, he brought the Quran? Any Muslim can help us? Any Muhammadan? Where in the Quran it says that Jibreel is the one who brought the Quran? You see, I'm following with them. We, we go with them. And right away you will notice that those Muslims, they say things they don't know what they are saying. Have you ever heard uh, of a religion? The followers of it cannot answer a simple question. Where in the Quran it says, that the one who brought the Quran to Muhammad is Jibreel. Any Muslim can help us? You don't know? Is that the best scenario? You see, before I go live, I saw Muslims texting in the chat. And they are very active. The second we go live, suddenly they are not here.
if you read the chapter in the Quran, you will see there's no way this, this is God is talking. Look at this. In the name of Allah, the most okay, well, Allah will say in the name of Allah. Then this is supposedly now, you see here, the Muslim they say to you, we did not corrupt the Quran. But as you see, the first line here is not considered number one. Why? Because this is addition. So this is a clear proof of addition of the Quran. Otherwise, why is it number one? If this is part of the Quran, then it's part of the Quran, then it should be number one, and this one should be number two. But as you see, the first line is not in the Quran. This is addition. The Muslims are corrupting their book, as usual. And then here it says, <clears throat> The event of the hour, or the punishment, of the disbelievers and polytheists, or the Islamic laws, or condemned, or blah, 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 or denied by Allah. Okay, who's talking? Any Muslim can help us? Who is the one who's talking here? If you tell me this is Allah, that would be funny. Any Muhammadan? Look how simple the question. Look how silly this cult, this fake religion. A challenge to every Abdul. Where in the Quran it says that the one who brought the Quran to Muhammad is the angel Jibreel. Anyone? So you must tell you repeat this story that Jibreel, Jibreel, Jibreel. But nowhere in the Quran it says that. And if we ask you about the Hadith, you say, we don't accept the Hadith. It's not authentic source. Do you accept the Hadith? Who is a Muslim? He can tell us why Allah don't talk. Why Allah is hiding. Why Allah is a mute. The Muslim says to me, stop Christian Prince, be a man. And debate, stop being in your basement. Reference first, I'm not in the basement. Secondly, uh, I love it to sit behind my computer and right away I have like I will have a thousand in a few minutes why I want to go anywhere this is the best and this is how I debate people you like it like it don't see none, none, of, none of your business people they want the answer they don't want me to go anywhere I'm like Allah you never saw me the only difference is I talk Allah don't talk do Allah talk if Allah talk, prove me wrong. Right? Do we have any Muslim can show us who is the one who brought the Quran? Hey, Tony from Ontario. Guys, by the way, I, I am really sorry if you guys, you say to me, hello, God bless you, and I don't answer. I see your text, by the way. And I don't want people to feel bad that I don't mention your name. But you know, we have a topic and you know, it's better not to spend the day. Like, you know, my cousin once he went to the movie and after he left the movie, I will ask him, hey, Abdul, how is the movie? He said, hey, 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 yeah, hey, the, the, the Bedouin accent, you know, hey, 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 yeah, hey, yeah, shut up, shut up. <laughs> By the time I finished saying assalamu alaikum and shaking hands, the movie was over. So we don't want to do the same as the Abdul do, you know. So uh, forgive me if I did not respond for your hello or blessing or Merry Christmas, etc. I love you all. Now, <clears throat> forget about my cousin. You know, he is the best. Forget about the rest. Uh, he's smart, not like you. And I feel sorry for you. All right. Uh, so do we have any Muslim here would like to tell us where in the Quran it says that the one who gave the Quran to Muhammad is Jibreel? Any Muslims? If it is not Jibreel, then who? Please don't use bad language, otherwise YouTube will block your text anyway, which means it's not going to go through. Secondly, I might block you too. Don't use bad language. Okay, thank you for loving me. Well, tell my mom. My mom, she said, nobody loves you. That's why you are still single. 
I know I keep telling her like mom still trust me there is some people they, they are blind they, they love me <laughs> she don't believe it she don't believe it um, true story by the way Sahih Bukhari so do we have any brave Muslim uh, we have a Muslim saying pedophile uh, Pope we'll prove it but we have a proof that your prophet was a pedo and this is in the Quran chapter 65 verse number four speaking about divorcing children who never have their menstruation and your prophet himself he have a wife she is six years old and the one who witnessed for that it is her so when you talk about pedophile and you are a Muslim my friend I feel sorry for you because you are following the most holy pedophile ever so how that work for you so if you are against pedophile how you will follow the religion of pedophile you tell me so here you see the hypocrisy of muslims when they speak about things they do and they accuse others of doing it for us if there is a priest or a, a, a anyone he do something uh, against the teaching of christ he will go to hell no question but do you agree that the one who is a pedophile should go to hell show me one verse in the quran saying a pedophile will go to hell nowhere in the top of that I can show you tons of reference your prophet was a bit of file as you see in the front of you on the screen hmm? what jesus says about those who heard the little one he said it's better for them to put a milestone in their neck and throw themselves in the deep ocean so if jesus was exist in the i mean if muhammad was exist in the time of jesus when he was on this earth jesus would throw him in the deep ocean and he would put a milestone in his neck like a goat now do we have any brave muslim would like to tell us who is the one delivered the Quran to Muhammad? Do Allah talk? Do Allah talk? Anyone? Hmm? Who is a Muhammadan here? He there to give us any answer? I mean, why is it so hard? Who is the one who gave the Quran to Muhammad? Anyone? The CP have the right and privacy and safety, Muslims. It's not about privacy. It's not about safety. I don't like to go. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm a person. I like, I don't like to be known. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm looking for, not looking for being famous. I just want to share the truth. That's all. You know, there's people that like to be, you know, people speak about them, etc. I go on TV. Yeah, but not me. I don't care for those things. Uh, about safety, who dare to come to my house? The Muslim, they claim that they know my address. If you are a man, come here. You know, just try. So this is not really the, my concern. People, people who they are concerned about their safety and they're about, you know, they will not even mention one word about Muhammad. Correct? I'm sure you understand that. So, uh, somebody saying a Catholic uh, Church is guilty. Yeah, okay, just I will go with you. Uh, you are trying to change the topic, but no problem. I will show you that you are stupid. The Catholic Church, they have millions of priests. Do you know how many millions? Actually, the number of Catholic priests in the world can make a country bigger than Saudi Arabia. Literally, bigger than Saudi Arabia. So, if you have... Uh, if you have uh, 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 hundreds of uh, priests who they are filthy, well, this is exists in every city in Saudi Arabia. And actually, I can show you a video that every city, 45% of Saudi Arabia, they have rape children. Mostly, they are their own family. 45%. They practice homosexuality and they rape their own children. So you can say whatever you want. And that will not change anything that your prophet is a bit of fire. Do you see how the Muslim defense is so silly and so stupid? We don't worship a priest. If a priest is bad, he's bad. We spit at him. Are you willing to spit at your prophet? Here we go. The hate in front of you. And not only that, your prophet, he used to recruit rapists for children. And the hadith about uh, Jabir is so clear. Jabir was a person who got married from a previously married woman. A widowed or divorced and Muhammad he was trying to change his mind telling him why you don't marry a child so you can sport with her 
So Muhammad is not only a pedophile, he is a pedophile leader. You will see here, this is your Muslim translation, this is Sahih Bukhari, so this is not like a fabricated story. You will see here, Muhammad is asking the man, the married man, did you marry a virgin or a matron? You know, this is a translation of Muslim, by the way. Okay. And then he says a matron. He said, why? Why you don't marry a virgin? So you might play with her. You know what? Do you know what the virgin here? It doesn't say the word virgin, actually. It says jariya. All right. So what jariya? What he's talking about? A little child. And look what the man he said to him to prove my point. He said to him, well, Abdullah, my father, died and left girls. So I dislike to marry like them. So I married a lady. So Muhammad was encouraging the man to marry a child in the age of the orphans he is trying to take care of. What say you? We go back to our topic. The Muslim, they try their best. This is here you see the, the, the problem of Muhammadan. They think if they talk about pedophile, okay, I mean, you are following a pedophile. For us, we put them in jail. All your country is pedophile because now in Islamic law, you can marry a child. It's legal in Islamic countries. In USA, if you marry a child, even if it's marriage, and the child is underage, you go to jail. Even if you call it marriage. In your country, it's pedophile is the normal lifestyle. So don't try, don't go there, my friend. Here we go, your prophet is asking you. And actually here, if we go in the Quran, we will find in the Quran, your Quran is encouraging you to rape orphans. The first one you sleep with is orphans. Hmm? The first one you sleep with then is the orphan. Read it. Chapter 4, verse number 3. <laughs> orphans according to Islam Muslim they support orphans by sleeping with them and the Quran is in front of you any Abdul is that Quran or this is fabrication Is that, is that Quran or I'm making things up? And then you come to us and you talk about pedophiles. I have a debate with Muslim Sheikh. It's in, it's in YouTube. He's, you know, in, in the book of Tahrir al-Wasila, page number, I think, 241 or 249, it says that it is not haram to have a sexual joy with the infant as long as you don't do intercourse. Infant. <laughs> Satanic cult. So, until now, we are asking the Muhammad, and who is the brave Muslim? You see, if I am, uh, if I am apostate prophet, you will see a long line of people, you know, trying to call him, uh, or even David would. Christian Prince, he keep asking, who wanna call me? No, no, we have to find a Muslim, he can answer a simple question. Anyone? Any Abdul? Who is Abdul can tell us why Allah don't talk, why Allah is a mute, why Allah is speaking from behind the hijab? You see, uh, the Muslim, they say to us that hijab means burqa. And actually, there's a guy, his name is Sheikh Uthman. He's a Christian prince. He's hiding behind burqa. <laughs> Look like this uh, idiot. He never read his Quran. It is his God who never speaks except from behind the burqa. For me, there is no need. I'm not God. And nobody need to see me anyway. You know. You know, what I do is not required to be seen by anyone. But Allah... 
This God, he said in the Quran, nobody can speak to Allah except from behind the veil. Do you see it? So Allah is wearing a veil. Why? Yeah, I like that, John. Dalia. Inna hu daliyun ya hada. Hal anta daliyun kama ana daliya? Kilana daliyin fi dhulla il mudla. I like this dalia. <laughs> anyway, do we have any Abdul can answer us? What is this God? He don't talk. He don't. Nobody saw him. The Muslim. We ask him even what the word Allah means. He don't know. Go and search. If you go and search in Google, you will find every single article made by Muslim. They give you different, uh, you know, some they say to you, Allah is coming from the word Ilah. So what you say, it's a name. If Ilah is a word, mean God. Ilah. The, the, the last letter, actually, is just for sound. It's not even part of the word. Ilah. Okay. So, uh, so what is what the name of your God? <laughs> Uh, how about you talk to upstate prophet before he did any big Muslim? I cannot, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I cannot tell them what to do, you know. Yeah, like they ambush him, right? Supposedly they told him, like, we want to go and debate you to opposite prophet, and then they got uh, Mimi Hijab. Hey, Muslim, why you don't ambush me? Call me and claim that you are nobody. And then, oops, put Mimi Hijab on the mic. <laughs> that would be the fun. <laughs> ambush me, ambush me. That's why I have my Skype open to anyone to ambush me anyway. <laughs> potatoes, you know, and they get upset from me for using the word potatoes. Actually, it's perfectly fit, made for this purpose. And potatoes are delicious, by the way. Islam is not. So I feel sorry for potatoes. I mean, I'm really, I, mean, I love potatoes. We have to admit potatoes is, is a gift from God. Islam is not evil. Uh, <clears throat> so do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Hey guys, look, since I said the word potato, the number of viewers is increasing. I mean, look at this. I will change the title, how to make potatoes. You will see, you will get way more uh, viewers. You know, you want to try? I will, I will change the scenery. And uh, I will change the title, How to Cook Potatoes. And then you will find the click coming from everywhere because people, they love potatoes. Nobody loves Islam. <laughs> you know, this is the truth. You know, potatoes is delicious. Islam is not. Now, do we have any Muslim? He can't tell us why Allah doesn't talk. We have our Skype open. What's going on? Anyone? Any Abdul? And you know the funny, they they, uh, they they get upset if I use the word Abdul, but isn't it the Quran call you Abdul? What's wrong with those people? I call them as the Quran call them, they get upset. One of the funny things about Islam that they do get upset if you read for them what their book saying. We get upset right away the second they read it themselves every day but the second we read it for them they get upset as an example just to show you the genius allah who is supposed to he's talking here i mean this is allah is talking come on this is, come on Muslims. i mean come on you know between me and you i mean this is not god talking no way let us go to the end of the yellow pages of islam which is the, the beginning actually uh, we go to al kafirun one of the most funny chapters in the Quran and even I mean how in the world do you call this chapter it's only uh, like six lines and each line is not even four words repeating the repeating itself uh, shall we read together brother you know and look at this translation you look look just to show you the Quran how clear it is brother look what do you see in the left is the three Arabic words or four Arabic words hmm Actually, there are three. Yeah, is a is a tool. So three Arabic words. All of those three became all of this. Why? 
what happened? Because we have to add Muhammad, we have to pay, say, peace be upon him, we have to add like a hummus, <laughs> we have to add <laughs> the fear. <laughs> they have to worship Muhammad, you know. So we have to add all those recipes, and then, uh, you know, after all, you know, we have to add the spices, and the Muslims are so uh, naive, they don't understand the Quran. You know, and nobody understand the Quran, and the Quran is a book of confusion. So we have etc. Like al, al, al Qadr, etc. This is all of this is in, in in those three words. All this English here. What change the translator? Hold on. This is Hilali and Khan. Let's, let's choose a different Abdul. Look what happened. I told you, don't wash the Quran with the chlorex. Look how the verses shrink. Do you see what happened? We just changed the translator, not the book. Okay. So who is the one who is saying here, say, Muslims, who is the one who is saying say? Qul. You know, once I decided, you know, like a... You know, you know, we grow in the, in the Middle East. We don't, I, I don't even know how to make an egg, honestly. I don't know how to do laundry. I don't know nothing, you know, about it. So I decided to wash my clothes and I, like, what, what to use, you know. Uh, so I found in the store, you know, this is, it say, I saw a picture. It says a Clorex, it says a clothes. So I said, okay, this is perfect. So I will use it now. So I put it in the, you know, laundry machine and, you know, with the clothes. And then I came back after one hour, I found nothing. <laughs> Nothing there is gone. <laughs> you know, we Arab, we never read the manual of anything. Like you see a person, he bought at a, say, a table, a dining room. You know, he just put it together, you know, so like the face is to the front, the front is to the face. And then that there's 50 screws is not, is, is additional, he throw them in the garbage. Like why those screws is there? You know? Yeah, this is Arabian way. Anyway, <clears throat> so this is the Quran is the same. Okay, say, say to who? And who is the one who's talking? Any Abdul? Hmm? Now the wise man here, wise man here, remember this, this chapter. I worship not what you worship, and you will not worship what I worship. So you will not worship what I worship. I will never worship your worship because you worship not what you worship. I worship whatever you worship, and you will never ever worship what I worship. What I worship. This is God. This is really God talking. This is like somebody, his mother-in-law. She wanted. She didn't want to close his mouth. I mean, she is upset from him because he was late at night with his friends. He left his daughter, her, her daughter, alone. What do you worship? 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 And then at the end of the day, he said to them, "No, you will worship what I worship." And then at the end, they became Muslims. I mean, what kind of a prophet? He say, "No, you will worship what I will worship, and I will not worship what you worship." But didn't they all become Muslims later? Anyone? Yeah, and by the way, nobody can like Quran. Nobody can write Quran like this Quran. Nobody, I mean, that's it. Think about it. I eat not what you eat, and you will not eat what I eat because I don't eat what you eat, and you will never eat what I eat because I don't eat your food. You don't eat mine, and I have my food, you have mine. Thank you very much. Get lost. Get lost. That's deep. I'm guessing that the one who wrote those verses, if we can call them verses, he was suffering from a lot of problems. Do we have any Abdul here? Remember, after we finish our broadcast, you will see a Muslim says, Christian Prince, be a man and debate me. Go and see the comments. Where are those? Be a man and debate me. Oh, okay. 
My Skype is open. Anyone? Any Abdul? Who is... Okay. I mean, this religion cannot stand anything. Anything. This is why, you know, they use violence in order to mute anyone they can't answer him. You see, the violence is used by Muhammad himself because he cannot refute what they are saying to him. When the Arab, they said to Muhammad, you are an idiot. What Muhammad, he says, I will kill you. When the Arab, they said to him, this is stupid, I will kill you. Okay. When the Arab, they said to him, this is just fairy tale stories, I will kill you. Uh, you won't let Muslim talk? First of all, change your name and call and text me. Eh, dirty people, dirty people. Using the name of a Christian person. He's an ex-Muslim. You are using his name. Saudi Abdul. Okay, Saudi Abdul, let us call you. <laughs> oh, Saudi Abdul is unavailable. Saudi Abdul, he says he wanna call me, but he don't dare to call me. Coward Saudi Abdul. Potato, you can read for me the verses you are posting for me in Skype, Potato. Come on, be a man. Can you answer the contradiction of the Bible? Abdul, let me answer all the contradiction you have in one statement. Your stupid prophet bees upon him. He says, he put his hand over the Torah. The one you claim, it's full of contradiction. And he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. <laughs> so who is the stupid here? So if we go with you, according to you, there's contradiction in the Old Testament. <laughs> That's mean your prophet is a stupid and he's a fraud. Go, buddy, go. You must be giving birth from Muta. You don't dare to let me even call you. Potato. Potato. You stupid idiot. As long as the Bible is full of contradiction, how your stupid prophet, he put his hand on it and say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. And how your stupid Quran confirmed the book of the Jews and confirmed the book of the Christians? Are you mental? And they get upset when I say potatoes. Potato, 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 You believe it or not, I ask actually for a special license from the owner of that song, honestly, and they give me permission to use it for live broadcast. I was using it for long years, many years. Potato, potato, potato. Each time a Muslim he ran away, we play it for him, you know. Uh, if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. And I hope the Christians, they are learning how to answer those crazy Abdul. The Quran confirm what is with us. So when a stupid Abdul, he says to you, the Bible have contradiction, the Quran says, confirming what is with them. If you say, no, this is in the time uh, before, before Islam, this, uh, it says, confirm what is with them. And don't you Muslim, you say that the Quran is for every time? Look like it's not. Mm. Thank you, thank you, Marino. I don't know how much I help you. Okay, I know, I know, my friend, I know. Uh, but my friend, I'm not helping you only. I want to help Muslims. I want to help our children. I want to help generations to come. You know, sooner or later, Christian Prince, he will go out, you know, right? You know, he would die. But my books, my videos will stay. And your children will not be deceived. Never. And your children will witness 
that there is a person, he made Islam shish kebab. And Islam is so stupid. That's why I ask you all of you to download my video, save them, because I am sure that Muslims by time, they try to take them down. So you take one, you put one, you know, you take down, you know, always you have to uh, keep those videos alive. And uh, uh, the truth will set you free. <clears throat> Now we are waiting for any Abdul from the religion who confirm what is with us and we don't confirm what is with them, which is funny. <laughs> Confirming what is with them, like what an idiot. We don't confirm what is with you. You know what? I know that time, I know that some people don't like to talk about death, right? But for me, it's, it's not really a, a big deal. Uh, but I, wanna, I have an idea. As long as long, okay, uh, Solomon, he dies standing, holding a stick, and nobody in his kingdom was able to notice. I'm looking now for a stick who will never rust, or eaten by termite, and I will go live. And not a single Muslim will know or think for a second that I am dead. I mean, the Quran must be written by God, my friend. I mean, who can come with the story like this, save Allah? The guy, he dies standing with the stake. And the, this guy is a king. He's not a Christian prince running a YouTube, writing some books, you know. This is a king. According to Muslims, his army goes all the way from Jerusalem. You know, this is how in the Middle East, like, you know, you know. So like you say to a guy, if you want to fool him, do you like, if you don't know the area, you say to him, I want to, you know, do you like to ride with me? Uh, you know, let us say we have a donkey. So I will say to you, do you like to ride with me from Baghdad to uh, the green area? He would say, uh, and or you like to ride from the green area all the way to Dead Sea. Based on the language, the first one is longer, <laughs> but it was five minutes <laughs> writing. So here we go. Here, Allah. He decreed Solomon's death, brother. But nothing, nothing shows his death except the little worm. Little worm of the earth. They eat their stick. They keep, uh, they keep slowly. Mmm, yummy, yummy stick. I mean, you can imagine how yummy the how yummy the stick of the King Solomon. Come on, I mean, this guy he used to swim in, in honey and milk, <laughs> so his his stick is full of that. So like the termite, like mmm, mm, yummy, mamma mia, mamma mia, you know. And then nobody noticed. The guy is dead for a year. His wives they come, honey, do you like to go to bed? He don't answer. Eh, the wives go to sleep. I mean, who cared? The husband, he don't want to go to bed even better. <laughs> the ministers, this guy is a king of a great kingdom. The ministers, sir, do you order us anything, sir? This is the drill sergeant, uh, you know, saying. And uh, Solomon, he don't answer. Okay, sir, as you wish, sir. He leave. He come, he, he come six months after, he asked the same question. He come the second day, the same question. But the king never asked, and nobody noticed that the king is dead. How you can beat that? It must be from God. God. Any Abdul? Hmm. Any Mohammedan? So what? Like no one, no Muslim would call us. You have a strike against me. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's name? You notice that you, you call me Ulibis now, don't you? <laughs> but you know, if you don't call me, that will make it even more horrible. I will tell you why. It's hard to explain to you, you know, because things is really not going well. But you don't call me. The result is really horrible. Really, really horrible. Research has shown that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. So how you keep saying to us Islam is increasing, Islam is growing, and then 24%? So what is left? Like what the heck? Uh, those are something we say behind doors, but in the front of Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, we say Islam is growing. Everybody is converting to Islam. We make a video for the same person 1,000 times. He converted to Islam, he have read that. At the same time, their own children are living Islam. Brother, do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Hello? What happened to this religion? It's dead religion. This guy is so sad. The other guy, he want to collect donation. He want to scare the Muslim. Go send us donation, okay? Because if you don't send us donation, there's 100,000 uh, Muslim living in Islam a year. Only? In different video, you said 173. What happened? Give us donation, okay? If you give us donation, we are the only one who can stop the Muslims from. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, come on, keep your mouth shut. 24% of Muslims leave Islam every single year. 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 It is going to become an avalanche. Leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. Leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. Leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. Leave Islam every single year. 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 Yeah, Abdul, by the way, I'm just making Quran because if you read any verse in the Quran, you will find it all over the place. The same verse repeating the same stupid thing. And they say to you, who can make Quran? Do we have any person can stop the avalanche? Uh... My Skype is Marbahan Mahi, call me. You just text me, my friend, text me. I don't look for people, you look for me. You want you want me to talk to you, just text me, it says, I want to, I want you to call me, I'm a Muslim, and I will call you. The same as everybody. All right. <clears throat> Jula, Jula, I'm lying. I text you, my Skype is Marbahan Mahani, Mahani, call, call you. Okay, well, I don't see. I see only a person, his name is AG, trying to add me. Is that you? I don't see any text from you. Maybe you are, maybe you are adding somebody else. Because some people, they have fake names. Let me look for your name. I will spoil you, okay? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I found the three names. Which one is yours? The first one, the second one, the third one, which one? Do you see those letters here? You can, you can copy those things that says life. This is your ID, by the way, which nobody can miss. 
or like this guy here life two dots mehdi and it's or uh, reflex so which one is yours give us yours so we can text you <clears throat> did he answer did this guy answer He did not answer, right? Yeah, I think he's just making things up. You cannot read Marahaban Mahai. <laughs> he will keep repeating the same thing. They are slow. <laughs> slow like Muhammad. <laughs> I just searched for your name. <laughs> stop lying stop lying actually I search for you now I copy your name again I found zero <laughs> I search there's no such a name in Skype at all look what I did I put the name here and I click enter and there is no result zero if I take the I I will find names so you are an idiot do we have any brave Muslim who dare to call us any brave Muslim me Muslim I have a question let us see Okay, well, he is not answering. Or well, maybe he is not even in, in the net. Do we have any brave Abdul would like to call us? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, before looking islam look at your women in porn that's a good thing hey hey, hey why you don't call us let us talk about porn because as i know your prophet is the prophet of porn and muslim women they do muta so what is different between muta and porn women in porn they take off their panties and those are not our women you know women who do prostitution they are exist in every 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 ethnic every country and actually, uh, I don't want to mention certain countries, but if you go to Morocco, you will know what I'm talking about. But as long as you are talking about porn, when you are a prophet, he order Muslim women to do muta. Is that a form of porn? She get paid for sex? When you are a prophet, he promise you an endless penis if you believe in him. Is that the prophet of porn? And a vagina fit for that? When you're God in the Quran, he promised you women who have their vagina, he described what is inside the vagina, and he described even the size of the women's breast. Is that poor? When you're a prophet, he allow you to have four at the time and no limit how many you can sleep with. Isn't it this is poor? And as long as you are telling us about our women in the porn, obviously you are a customer then. <laughs> that make you a whore yourself too okay contact card okay somebody found you okay, okay maybe this is ultimate fault properly I clicked at the name, it's not opening. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> um.
I'm trying to find this uh, Abdul. <clears throat> ah, no. <laughs> and now. Let us see. His name was what? Batito Mahai. Okay. Marhaban Bahai. Mahai. Marhaban Bahai. Okay, Marhaban. Let us see. Marhaban, Baha'i, Marhaban, Marhaban. <clears throat> See how much, you know, we care to talk to you, Mr. I'm, I'm sure you are just an idiot. Uh, after all this looking for you, just to add you. But, you know, sometime we need a snack. Marhaban, Marhaban. Marhaban. Man, where is this guy? Yeah, because I think he was texting me before, long time ago, and he's blocked. That's why I cannot see his text. So I'm looking in the block. Uh, list <clears throat> Marhaban Mahdi um, Well, I don't see him in the block list Still looking. Well, I finished all those who start with letter M and still I got nothing. <clears throat> Don't go, Abdul. Okay, we will we will find a solution to talk to you. You are priceless for us. Marhaban. Well, I don't find any name is blocked with Marhaban. Zero. <clears throat> Maybe he changed his name after he's blocked. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, uh, Tippy. When I click at the thing you give me, it, uh, the the chat go blind. I don't know why. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think this is ultimate fault. Yeah, but I don't mind even actually. It's at the ultimate fault. We can just for a laugh. Hold on, I was able to copy the 
the thing you gave me. Well, I did not find the two, even the one you gave me. Yeah. Anyway, forget it. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to call us? And if you are black, that's mean already we give you a chance and you are filthy. You know, usually we block only those who have a filthy mouth. Like Ultimate Fort. Any Abdul? Can you confirm that Jibreel is in 297? Confirming the Bible only that Jibreel never revealed the Quran, confirming that we don't know who is Jibreel. I'm not sure what is your question still, but uh, our challenge is to the Muslims who is the one who gave the Quran to Muhammad? If it's Jibreel, where in the Quran it says Jibreel? Very simple, you know. Any Muslim can help us? This religion is very stupid. I mean, there's nothing. They have nothing. Yeah. Say who is the enemy of Jibreel? Of he is bearing down between two brackets, revelation. Where it says the word revelation? This is false. <laughs> Where is the word revelation? <laughs> Any Muslim can show us the word revelation? If you want to say to me, uh, you know, uh, uh, oh, the meaning of the verse it says revelation, well, uh, no. First here it says Allah, he sent it to his heart. Right? What Allah sent to Muhammad by his heart, to go to the front verse in the Quran, we will find that Muhammad, he have zero faith. And this is what Allah, he sent down to him. And that is, the, you remember the surgery, where in Jibreel he came down, and he washed the heart of Muhammad. Do you remember it? That is what the Quran is speaking of. Uh, <clears throat> According to Muhammadan, Muhammad never believed in Allah, never knows even what faith is, you know, and he is not a believer in the Muslim. Even like in the introduction of our video, it says that Muhammad wasn't Abrahamic and he was from the pagan, you know, from Quraysh. Let us show the verses. <clears throat> okay. If you go here, you will find this. Chapter 42, verse number 52. It says, thus we have by our command sent the inspiration to thee. Correct? Okay. This is the Muslim translation. This is the Muslim translation. But in Arabic it says, we send our inspiration as a soul. Do you remember last time we spoke to a Muslim, we asked him, is Jibreel a spirit? He refused to answer. Do you remember? Jibreel is not a spirit. Do you remember I asked him, so why you call him Holy Spirit? <laughs> if he is not a spirit. <laughs> he said it's a title. It's a title. <laughs> so, how what Allah he sent down? 
how Allah he sent revelation according to the Quran Muhammad was a person who have no faith zero faith he do not know what faith he do not know what revelation revelation before which means he have zero knowledge of any faith any revelation Muhammad was a pagan you change the translator by the way you will see the whole translation change <clears throat> as usual you see the word ruhan ruhan mean ruh is a word means soul or a spirit so what we send to you muhammad we send spirit of our command and you know not what is the book nor what is faith if we go to the other verse the one the one of you asked me to read it nowhere here it says that allah he sent revelation with jibreel that is addition this is why it's actually even the muslim the other bracket what the verse here is speaking of is allah increasing the face fixing by doing a plastic surgery to the heart of muhammad washing it with the water of zamzam and installing dish of faith and dish of wisdom do you guys remember the story who remember the story do you remember the story we can go to the hadith right now here we go this is how allah he fixed the faith of muhammad by sending jibreel this is what jibreel did and i changed the muslim to say this is not true here we go so Allah, he sent Jibreel to do a certain thing, which is a plastic surgery for the chest of Muhammad. He took his heart and all the material inside and he washed it by the water of Zamzam. And this is what the verse is talking about. If the one who sent the Quran down is Jibreel, that's mean there's a contradiction because Jibreel is not a spirit. He's not, he's an angel. And the angel in Islam are physicals and they are created from light. How we can confirm that? We go to the stupid Quran. We go to the stupid Quran. Read with me carefully. The Quran confirmed that angels are not spirit, and spirit are not angels. Chapter 78, verse number 38. Look what the Muslim they do to fix it. They add between the bracket Jibreel, but nowhere it says Jibreel. How? Because simply change the translator, go to different idiot, you will find totally the word change. Read carefully. The day that the spirit and the angels, if Jibreel is one of the angels, then this sentence is stupid. Is that correct? Because you don't say the spirit and the angels, because if the, that means the angels are not spirit, correct? If I say the spirit and the angels, obviously there's different. There's two kind. He did not say Jibreel and the angels will be standing. He said the spirit and the angels, all the angels. He did not say some, he did not say a few, and the angels. So the most time in order to fix it, they say to you, oh, the spirit here is Jibreel. How we can prove more that Jibreel is not a spirit? Is it true that Jibreel, he came and he ride with Muhammad in the top of a donkey going to heaven? A spirit do not need that. A spirit is not a physical human. Is not unless the Muslim they have to accept that that spirit specifically is able to confirm something uh, uh, we Christian believe in that it's possible for God everything and the angel who came to Mary 
which is a spirit who appeared to Mary as a human being, this spirit is not an angel. That's maybe God. Because the Quran nowhere says we send down to Mary Jibreel. It says again we send down our spirit. And he appeared to her as a perfect man. <clears throat> okay. Indian revert sister channel CP is an Christians. What amazing and stupid, of course. We'll take it easy on the people, people. What is the Indian? What is this Indian uh, revert? What, what the word revert mean? I'm not sure. There is someone, her name is Indian. You can call me if you want. Indian revert if you are a Muslim. By the way, when, a, when somebody says to you that somebody revert to Islam, that is an insult to the truth. Because Islam is not part of a Christianity to revert. Let us say, uh, you know, like, uh, let's say there is there is sect, some of them, they are false. So you leave the, the true, the origin, and then you go to a false sect, and then you revert back. That is revert. But Muslims, they don't believe in the same God. So how they call and say revert, that is a false statement. We don't believe in the same God of the Muslims. We go back to our topic. If there is any proof that Jibreel is the one who sent down the Quran, the verse we see in chapter 2, verse number 97, this is addition, the Muslim, they are saying revelation, as you see between two brackets, there's no word revelation. What Jibreel he sent down to Muhammad is a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. And the story is in the front of your eyes, you can read it. Here we go. So while Muhammad in the stage between sleep and wake up, waking up, three person or two people, they came to him. One of them is Jibreel. One of them is Jibreel. What Jibreel he did? He laid down Muhammad next to the water of Zamzam. And then Jibreel took charge of him. Jibreel cut open his body from his throat all the way to his testicle, not to the chest, as they are saying here. And heart, you see the word heart? Okay. And took all the material out of his chest. And then a dish or a tray, have a dish, golden tray, have a golden dish, full of belief and wisdom was brought to Jibreel. And Jibreel, he put it in the chest of Muhammad. So this is what chapter 2, verse number 97 is speaking of. This is what Allah, he sent down to Muhammad. He sent faith and wisdom by dishes. Prove me wrong. <clears throat> Any Abdul? And here, by the way, you will notice right away that Muhammad is a fabricating story. Because if the Muslim, they say Allah is able to do everything. How? They say to you, he say be. Okay. So, if Allah, he can do things by saying be, why he is sending two angels to make a plastic surgery? And since when, faith and wisdom, they come in dishes. Uh, debate Uthman, my friend, give me his Skype. I will call him right now. Tell your little girl to be a man and give me her Skype, and I will call her right now. Yeah? It's not late, you know, he lives in California, so it's still early for him, for her, I mean. So you are the man, and I challenge you to contact your little girl, Uthman, and tell him, shame on you, not to let even the guy to call you. Potato. So here you see, that Jibreel he sent down a dish of gold, sorry, Allah he sent with Jibreel supposedly, a dish of, a tray of gold, have a, a dish of gold, and then inside each dish, there's two dishes, 
one dish is full of faith and one dish is full of yogurt i uh, sorry not yogurt uh, wisdom <laughs> and remember we ask a muslim if you remember his name is what what his name uh, jihad jihad we ask him why allah he did the surgery he says he's abrogating you know he's fixing his iq allah is fixing the iq of muhammad but imagine this story muhammad he said after fixing his iq so how stupid he was before this before the surgery because this story alone proving that muhammad is mentally ill So the verse the most time they give you, chapter 2, verse number 97, my friend, is about this. This is what Jibreel he sent down. He sent down to him shish kebab hummus, dish of faith and dish of wisdom. Prove us wrong. Uh, okay, I'm Muslim here, let us see. <laughs> Mute YouTube, my friend. Mute YouTube, so I can hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? You are live on air. Imagine this story, Muhammad. He said after fixing Are you going to IQ. talk or what? Hello. Yes, this daddy, 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 daddy. Yeah, you, are the, again? You, are the, you are the daddy. You know why? Why your wall is so dirty? Open the camera. Open the camera. Open the camera. Yeah. Open this the daddy. camera. Op open the camera. Open the camera. I want to show everybody how dirty your wall is. What kind of a human being you are? Your wall is so dirty, disgusting. What you what you show it? Open the camera. Let everybody laugh. Uh, so uh, I guess you got to be dirty uh -huh. because so you can open dirty? the camera. Why is dirty? I will tell you. Is it true that your prophet, uh, after he do masturbation, he dry his hands in the wall? I said. Just shut up, stupid son of Muta. I mean, go clean, go clean your wall, you idiot. You stupid. Guys, you should see his wall. I mean, disgusting. Literally disgusting. The stupid, by mistake, he opened the camera. I look at this wall. Why this wall is so dirty? I mean, this is disgusting. But I said to myself, maybe somebody in work somewhere, but this guy is sitting in his bed, and then it's suddenly it's ultimate fart. I mean, what kind of a bedroom? There is literally lines on the wall of dirt. <laughs> I told you, open up your camera, I don't want to open it no more. <laughs> Yesterday he called me, he's driving a nice car, obviously he took, he took it from somebody. <laughs> I mean, aren't you ashamed of yourself? At least clean your wall, you idiot. Even, even cats, when they do poo-poo, they, the, you know, they cover it with the dirt. Cats are cleaner than you. What a disgusting person you are. What an idiot. Do this. I will let you call me. You go. You get some towels with some water and wipe the wall. Clean the map of your hands all over. This is what Muhammad used to do. After he finished sex, or masturbation he dry his hands on the wall but let me see if I can find the hadith in English here we go <laughs> and that explain why your wall is so dirty and so disgusting Are you doing this? Are you? Huh? 
you wash your anus and your penis and then you dry your hand on the wall? Are you? I mean, from all the Muslims in the world, I could not find except this, this idiot. What happened to the Muslims? This is the only ambassador you have? Look, so he cleaned his private part and then he rubbed his hand over the earth or the wall. Where, where he rubbed? He, he cleaned his private part and then he rubbed it either by the ground or by the wall. Uh, any Abdul? You know, by the way, additional to that, if the Muslim insists that the chapter uh, 2, verse number 97, this is about Jibreel sending down the Quran, then how they can fix this verse here? Things will get more complicated. <clears throat> things getting more complicated If we have any Abdul, let me know. If you go to chapter 53, the chapter of the star, this is chapter is called the chapter of the star for a reason, because this is the God of Islam. Who is the one is coming down by the star when it's fell down? Who is swearing? If at Allah swearing by the star, well, that is a stupid really because first of all, stars are not falling down. If it's a meteor, and secondly, why God want to swear by a star anyway? It's falling down. Always you swear by something greater than you, not something. I never heard of somebody swearing by a mosquito. Unless he is trying to be comedian, right? You always swear by something greater than you, so you swear by God, right? Then, your companion neither astray or ne neither being misleaded. Okay, why? Why they are talking about this? Muhammad, you know, he's, uh, he's stupid. And people, they are saying this man is mentally ill, he's stupid, he says stupid things. So this verse is supposed to refute them, but who is the one who's talking? I will be waiting for any Muslim to tell me who is the one who's talking. Maybe we can get somebody. Do we have any Muslim would like to tell us who is talking? Anyone? Please accept invitation to debate. Uh, this is ultimate fault is coming with the clean water. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hi, can I switch you on on YouTube? Can you what? Uh, can I plug you on on YouTube? You, you just mute the sound there because you need to see still. Okay, screen. let me get you on YouTube first, and then I'll. Uh, where are you on YouTube? One second, let me see. Uh, how do I get you on? One second, I'm, I'll find it. Just give me one second, live. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna mute the sound now. All right. So we were, I don't know if you heard me. Maybe you did not. We are talking about the Okay, uh, first of all, I just want to know, are you a Christian? Yes, are you a Muslim? 
But you don't sound like a Christian. Why? Because you are mocking and insulting people. Oh, so Christian. You're not, not only Christian. mocking and insulting religion, but you are ah. mocking and insulting people who are okay. Muslims. Okay, let me ask you: Are you saying the one who? But that's not the Christian teaching, is it? Okay, hold on. Are you saying the one who insults people is bad? No, I'm just talking about you right now. Okay, I'm not no talking problem. about anyone. I'm else. saying is the one who insults people. Are bad. So Jesus, Jesus never insulted anyone. Insult, that's what I know. Is the one who insults people is bad? Why you change the topic? Yeah, but Jesus never insulted anyone, this, did he? No, I'm asking you now. Is, is, is that a Christian is the teaching? One who insult, is the one who insults people is a bad person? No, Jesus was a good person. Okay, I'm asking he you never insulted question. people. I'm asking you the question. When you say to me you insult people, is that is that you statement saying that's that a horrible, insult, horrible, horrible that, person? The person that, who insults that people. One, okay, so uh, because that their the one, beliefs. Why don't why don't why don't dare to answer the question? Is the I'm answering. Is the one who insults people is a bad person? Yes, very much so. Okay, if I show you right now in the front of everybody that even your prophet he insults Muslim, even he beat them, what you would do? Okay, so uh, so let's debate. Let's we debate. Are, we, and started, don't we, hang started, up. we started. We started. You know, you open so, the topic. We, 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 yeah, we, I will. I will answer all okay, your questions, okay. but don't so, don't so, don't so, don't hang okay. up. Okay. So, we are not hanging up. Here we go. You are. No, you will. Share. You will because you will lose and you will okay. hang up. We will see. We will see. So promise if, you will not hang up and I you will hang up only try to try to, to not lose. If, oh, hold on, my friend. You can hang up anytime you want. No, I'm 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 going to win. I'm not okay. You win already. So I'm, it's a debate. I, yeah, so, I'm going so to win. Said, okay, so I'm, you said, I'm, I'm going to show you the right path. All right, my friend. So the one who yeah. insult you say it. Everybody heard you. Is a very bad person. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if your prophet he did beat Muslims and he insult them, is he a bad person? Okay, I will answer this question, but uh, let us uh, dictate the terms. One question from you, and then one question there from is me. No is that okay? We talk. Me and you, we talk. Me okay, then I will ask a question, and you will answer my we question. Just, and we, first, we, I will answer your we question. We just, we just started. Don't make now. Don't make a decision. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. We, okay. This is your so question. You the person read. who insults I, the bad person. I want okay. you to read this, then, and I want you to answer, please. Yeah. And you now you have to admit that your prophet is a bad person. Go ahead. Oh, one minute. Sorry, there were no results. Are you on YouTube? I see something. Yes, it might take some time to refresh. It says, sorry, there were no results found. Here to use user side. One second, let me switch on my laptop. Okay. Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak Arabic. I, I live in Europe. Oh, okay. One minute, hold on. Oh. See, like if you are a good person, no, you can friend, convert a lot no, of people. No, you can convert a lot. No, no, I'm just read, while read, while I'm switching on read, this, I'm just read. we we, we will talk just, about no problem. We'll talk yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not we are not changing topic. Okay, one second. Worry. We are not done. No, yet. no, I'm this not. Is, this is just saying hello. No, no, I'm not done either. The one question from you and then one question from me, and we'll sort it all out, and we'll see who will win this debate. We will stay with it. Go ahead. Read for me. Sure. Did One second. Let me switch it on. Christian people? Prince. Okay. You're live. Um, okay. You can convert. A, no, no, I'm just. While, while I'm, okay. It's, the sound is mute. Okay. Okay. Chapter read, read 25. The read the hadith. I, I see a hadith. Refresh Abu Hurairah reported. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah, this is the one. Read. No, it's a hadith. I, I wanna, I wanna, I don't follow the hadith. What do you mean don't follow the hadith? Are you a Muslim? Yeah, of course I'm a Muslim. I follow Quran. Ah, hadith is written by people. I, I follow the word of God. Ah, okay. So I see. You follow the Quran. Yeah. There's anywhere in the Quran that says you follow the Quran only. I, it doesn't say that I have to follow the hadith. Actually, there's no, a hadith says, that no, says, says don't follow the hadith by no, the prophet. No, that's a lie. Yeah. There's no way it says don't follow the hadith. There's a hadith that okay. says don't okay. follow my hadith. Don't okay. follow what I'm saying. Okay. Follow the Quran. There's I a hadith. I challenge you to show me the hadith. No, I don't know how to show it to you, but there's a hadith no, that the says hadith. don't give follow the hadith. Give me the hadith number. I will put it on the screen. 
I don't I don't remember but but so let's let's go with so the Quran why so why can't you go with the Quran I'll go with the Bible you go with the Quran Hold on so you call you call me you said you want to win and don't hang up on me because you will win and now the second I show you your prophet insulting even Muslims even there he's beating them you don't want to read it and you say I don't accept the hadith No because you wrote because you wrote people like you wrote this this hadith so how how, how can so, I trust people Sahih like Muslim, you who are writing this hadith Sahih Muslim Sahih Muslim is a Christian now <laughs> Say Muslim was uh, several hundred years after Muhammad. Okay, well, the Quran is written okay. several hundred years after Muhammad too. Quran was uh, Quran was uh, was uh, was written at the same time of Muhammad. Not true. The Quran you are reading he, it now, was it, it was revealed from God at the same time when Muhammad was alive. The Hadith was right. not revealed from God. Okay, Quran so, is revealed from God. Okay, so the one that's who, what Muslims okay, believe. So the, the one who insult people. Is a bad person. So if I show you from the Quran, are you going to deny it too? Yes, yeah, show me, please. I'm okay. I'm going to win this debate, okay? Okay. You're and you're going already, to hang up. My I friend, know all of this. You won already. <laughs> I, I I always do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna make you a good person. You are very knowledgeable, but you have to become you a better person. Me, you cannot make me a good person because you you uh, have to follow the teachings because, of Jesus. Because actually. you are, if if I am a bad uh, person, as you say. It, you cannot make me a good person because you are following the most ugly person in the world. You will go. I showed you. So tell me what. Tell me what's ugly. Tell Hold me you're on. just repeating oh, something that doesn't the, make sense. You are the one who said what is ugly is insulting people, right? Okay, then if you are, if you don't don't have anything to tell okay. me, then I'll go to my okay. question. Okay, no, let, 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 let us show you what the Quran says. Okay, about, then about then please continue then because okay. I'm waiting for my question. If I call you right now, you are an animal. Is that okay? Show me. You are just making making things I'm up. I'm not. I'm saying to you, if I call you an animal, is that okay? But th that's what you're doing. You're calling people. You're calling people names and saying I, bad well, things I, to I people say, say, live I on say, TV. I say potato. No, you say a lot of things. You say uh, his brother's ass. The other day, I was listening to you. You were talking about someone. Who, uh, you were talking about his brother's uh, wife's ass. You're talking talk dirty stuff. On, on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you are saying things like that. You're I'll saying do. crazy read, stuff read on, on live me. live YouTube. Read, read for me. Your Quran consider the non-Muslims are animals. They are the same as cattle. So show me, show me, same. show me, show me. Where, where is it? Chapter twenty-five, verse forty-four. Yeah, it's it's not coming right now. I'm waiting. It's, it's a wide screen. The, open the Quran. From I'm your refreshing side. it. Wait, you do not read my Quran. You can open the Quran from your side. One second. I'm refreshing it. Okay, I have it on my yeah. Okay, mm. so verse forty-five. Mm. What's wrong with this verse? It's talking about the sun. Talking about what? The sun. We make the sun its guide. What sun? Are you talking about verse forty-five or verse forty-four? Forty-four. Forty-four. Mm. Yeah, the people who have who have gone astray, the people who are evil, they are they are as bad as animals. What's hmm. wrong with that? So if I call you animal, is that they okay? are not calling anyone. They are not calling anyone bad names like you do. Okay, no, he just he just call us animals, all of us, not only one no, person. All no, no, not you, not you. You are you are. You are hopefully, you are not a bad person. He's saying. Oh, no, 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 he's no, saying no, no, because no, no, because no, no, no. we believe see, that Christians see, are not bad ago, people. Who cares if it's me or not me? You say the one who call people names, he is a bad person. So this is no, God. this is God. Calling this is not a person. The person uh, God me, is saying. You said those are the bad ones. Where it says even they are bad ones. God is saying the person who is evil is like an animal. What's wrong with that? One, That's God. That's, these are God's the, words. Where it says they are evil. Astray. What does astray mean? Astray in path. No, it's mean they, they are they are misleaded. They are misled. So they people are, who are misled. misled. So people so, uh, who are who are misleading people. Okay, they are, they are, they are bad people. Yeah. No, they are misleading. Who are following the bad okay, path? Okay, are hold bad on, people. Hold on. They are so, as bad so as animals. Who is the one who mislead those people? Now you're changing the topic. We are not. Because you told me are, that you are. It's okay uh, to say uh, bad things Abdul, because Abdul, Quran Abdul, is saying Abdul, bad things. Abdul, I told you, Abdul, please don't say Abdul, bad things Abdul, to people. Abdul, you say. Quran Abdul, and and Abdul. then you showed me that Quran doesn't say that to say bad things to it people. It says here. I ask you, Allah is insulting those people. Why is insulting us? You said he is not. Allah insulting is you. not insulting you. Insulting Allah you. is not insulting Christians. Insulting Allah is insulting, insulting, insulting murderers, uh, rapists, kidnappers, uh, where blackmailers, where liars, thieves. Where, where it says that in the verse? The verse 
astray in path. They are worse astray in path. Uh huh. Where 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 it the says one... they are where it says they are the rapist and they are the thieves. No, Can because because the the worst astray in path uh, can be so many things. They can be murderers. <laughs> they can be rapists. They can be thieves. Okay. The, the people the... who are not following uh, okay. the correct path so, are bad people. Okay. Yeah. If you understand I, that if, it's, it's I, common if, sense what the word kafir mean you tell me you are arabic i know uh, you are a muslim so what no you are you are you you you, so you know, so you, know. What? you, you are the muslim me. you are the muslim who called me to win a debate kafir is someone who's kafir. not muslim he is kafir okay okay what does that mean is that a good word or is this an insult you tell me i don't see it as an insult kafir is, is insult. someone okay. kafir is another word for a non muslim uh, okay so let us say the word yeah. kafir is not a Muslim. So if I call you kafir uh, for the rest of our conversation, it's okay. No, because I'm a Muslim. You cannot call me kafir. What kafir mean then? So you tell me what it means. You are Arabic. I'm not Arabic. So you are I saying, know. So, all I know so that kafir know, is... So, so, how, so, so how you know that you are not kafir? Then if you do not know what the word means. <laughs> no, kafir is, someone, kafir is someone who's not a Muslim. I told you what it means. Someone what, is not a Muslim. Okay, where you got this that is, the one is not a Muslim? Because because it says uh, the, the the people of the books and the kafir and the Muslims, so it, there's a category for that. It says that it says that in the Quran. Yeah, it says that it says it talks about Muslims, Islam, and the people of the book and the kafirs. There's uh -huh. a category. Kafir is the pagans, the pagans uh -huh. who are worshiping idols and stuff like that. Those are kafirs. Okay, so the yeah. one who don't believe in Allah, they are kafir. Yeah, Christians, Christians and Jews believe in Allah. They believe oh, in, in one so, God. So they, they are, are not, they are not so, kafir. So they are not kafir. No. Oh. Well, let me tell you. Now I'm not calling you name. I'm just giving you the scripture. So no. you 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 you're switching the topic now. No, I'm not. Yeah? I'm not. You 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 because, because, because you lost. You lost. Because topic. you lost. You yourself busted. With the last topic. Let me call you from now on. Let me call you from now on. Ignorant, stupid. Because the Christians, according to the Quran, they are kafir. Okay, so if Christians are kufar, if Christians are kufar, so does it mean that because of my lack of knowledge, I should start saying bad things to people? No, because you, I you because see, of my lack I, of knowledge, you, I should, say, I should start you cursing are, people. I just call you because of my you. lack of belief. I, I should start you. cursing I people because I know so much more. I, I should start you. cursing I people and saying them bad you. things. I, I don't curse. I just call you stupid, and you say this is an insult. But you are stupid. You don't know your religion. Here we go. It says in the Quran. Those yeah, you, you, are, you are just beginning to curse because the, the, the minute Shut you lose, up. either you, you hang you up are, or you, you curse. You are stupid and I prove it. You do not know if the Christians according to your religion and the Jews are kufar or not. Chapter 5. How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that Christians are kufar? It's in the front of you. Chapter 5, yeah. verse number 17. Surely those who believe in Allah, those who say that the Messiah is Allah, the son of Maryam, they are kufar. Yeah, those are... Is uh, do the Christians <laughs> believe that Messiah is the son of uh, uh, son uh, son is, is yeah, Allah? We, yeah, we, yeah, we believe he's the son of God. But do you believe do you believe that Messiah is Allah? We don't believe in the such other garbage. Allah. So you're not kufar then. Are you kufar? Just, just get lost. You see, and so you are predicting I'm going to hang up on you because you are just a silly kid. This is the one who want to debate me. You don't know anything about your religion. You don't know what kufar mean. You do not know the Christian they are kufar or not. You don't know anything. And when I show you your prophet insulting Muslims, calling names, the Quran call us najis, filthy. The Quran call us kufar. The Quran call, call us animals. The Quran call us liars. And all of this is not an insult for you. Potato. <laughs> uh. Okay, I receive a message from a person saying thank you very much because of you, my friend, he left Islam. I'm happy for that. So he predicted I'm going to hang up on him because you are a stupid mule. Literally. And if we go right now and search, can a Muslim be a Muslim without accepting the hadith? The answer is no. The excuse that the hadith is written hundreds of years after Muhammad, the Quran written after of hundred years of Muhammad. You don't have a Quran. The Quran we are reading now is according to the recitation of Hafs. There's many recitation, but Hafs was exist more than two hundred years after Muhammad. This is why it says 
according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, starting from Hafs. Hafs ibn Asim, ibn, 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 etc. Son, 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 son. From, 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 from Uthman, from Muhammad. You don't have a book, it's called the Quran. You have recitation. And Hafs, according to Muslims, he is a thief, he's a liar. Oh, you're insulting the Christian, you're insulting us. I call you potato, I don't, I don't curse. I don't curse people, they have my recording all over. If I say a son of Muta, this is what the Quran says. You Muslim, you do Muta. We ask you what Muta is, you say marriage. <laughs> Why you get insulted then? But Muta, we know that it's nothing but temporary sexual relationship. So you get upset. He seemed to be a good guy. No, my friend, he's not a good guy. He's a stupid guy. I'm not going to waste my time with somebody who does not know his religion. And he just wanna, just wanna, uh, you know, he wanna, he wanna teach me how to talk, and he wanna make me a good person. But he is following a, following a scumbag, a rapist, child molester. If we continue this conversation, each time I show him something, he say, look, look. He just said, do you believe that Jesus is the son of Allah? <laughs> So are you saying the Quran is stupid? And if we are, if I believe or not, you just say the one who insult, the one who is a kafir is a liar. And the whole topic is, is insult is okay? <laughs> you said, show me. <laughs> I just told you. There's no time for me. I'm not, a, I'm not a kid, my friend. You can talk this conversation with a kid like you. You bring me a scholar, I will make him shish kebab. A person who do not know even what the word kafirun mean or kafir, what I will do with you? Uh, <clears throat> the excuse that I do not know, you tell me you are the Arab, that is not excuse. You call me supposed to win a debate. So you win the debate by saying to me, I don't know. And then the second I show you a verse, you start saying this is not about you, so this is about who? All the Christians believe that Jesus is Son of God. All the Christians. This is not talking about you. No, it's talking about me. It says Jesus, the Son of Mary. If there's other Mary, if there's other Messiah, He predicted that I'm going to hang up, and, uh, and they say to you, why you hang up on people? Sometimes you don't have patience for this stupid thing. I mean, this guy, he have he, obviously he wanna play games. Whatever we show him, it doesn't say that. It says that they are the same as animals. Oh, those are the liars, the rapists, where it says rapist. It says those who don't listen to the Quran. Where are you adding the word thieves and rapists and etc. Right? Uh, my friend, you can do better. You can open your channel and you can have patience with him and you talk to him. I don't have time for this kid's talk. There's no point because simply nobody will learn and he will not learn because he's just being a fool. You know, he's fooling around. He's being a troll. When you want to talk to somebody in order to call it a, an adult conversation, you have to have an adult in the other side. So it's not up to me, it's not up to him. This is the Quran, and this is what the Quran meant. You can open the interpretation and you will see what it says. So him denying will not help anyone. He, he knows himself that he is just lying. And when he say, he don't accept the hadith. Okay, if we ask him where in the Quran it says how to pray five times, it's in the hadith. Where in the Quran it says muta is haram? Nowhere. Where in the Quran it says, do stone him to death? Nowhere. Where in the Quran the verses for breastfeeding for adult? Nowhere. So what we do, we go to the Hadith. So those are hypocrite liars. They follow the Hadith. But the second you show them something is embarrassment. They say, we don't accept the Hadith. By this, he deleted half of the debate. Half of, his, half of it is gone. Their prophet word is not accepted no more. And then they jump to second scenario. that we don't believe in the Quran. 
admit that you lied about the Quran before in one of your video you said it's about sex it's not about show brainwashed okay hold on let us put this uh, this Abdul here 